Have you ever looked up at the sky and noticed the clouds or even the stars at night? There are a lot of amazing things to see when we look up at the sky. One of the most exciting sky events to watch is called an eclipse. Maybe you've even seen one before. There's a very exciting eclipse event coming up, so I'd like to learn more about eclipses and how they happen. To find out more, I'm going to a place where you can find some answers about space called a planetarium. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Stephanie. I love to go on learning adventures and today's trip will be out of this world. Come along with me as we visit a planetarium to learn more about eclipses and outer space. A planetarium is an interesting place. It's like a museum to learn about outer space, but it's special. Planetariums have a dome-shaped ceiling. A dome is like a big round roof, shaped like half of a circle. Inside the dome is a screen that shows movies, and these movies let us see what it is like to be in space. It's sort of like going to the movie theater, except that the screen is curved. And when you sit under the round dome, it looks like you are surrounded by stars. It's beautiful. A planetarium is also special because some of them have something called an observatory. An observatory can also have a domed ceiling, but this time the roof opens up. Observatories contain a very large telescope that points out to the night sky when the roof is opened. A telescope is a tool that you can look into to see something that's very far away and you can see it like it's up close. And these telescopes help us to look at planets and stars. Since everything in space is so far away from Earth, these telescopes need to be very big and powerful. People who study space are called astronomers. Astronomers are people that use telescopes and other machines to learn about space. And astronomers know from their research when special events like eclipses are going to happen. Let's do some research ourselves, just like astronomers, to find out what an eclipse is and how it happens. To understand an eclipse, we need to know more about what is around our planet, the Earth, in space. The Earth is part of our solar system. In our solar system, Earth is one of eight planets that orbit the Sun. The Sun stays in the middle and the planets slowly move around the Sun in an ellipse or circular shape. That is an orbit, when something in space travels around another object. It takes the Earth 365 days to orbit all the way around the Sun. And that is why there are 365 days in a year. As the planets orbit the Sun, they also rotate or spin around. It takes the Earth 24 hours to rotate one time, so that is why there are 24 hours in one full day. It is daytime when your part of the Earth is facing the Sun, and it's nighttime when the part of the Earth that you are on is facing away from the Sun. The Earth is also tilted a little bit, so as it orbits the Sun, 
The part that is tilted towards the sun has warmer weather, like in the summer. And the part that is tilted away from the sun has colder weather, like in the winter. The Earth orbits the sun because gravity, which is an invisible force, is pulling the Earth around the sun. Earth has its own gravity, which is why we stay on the ground and things fall to the floor when we drop them. Gravity pulls things into the center of the Earth, so it keeps things on the Earth. And just like the Earth orbits the sun, the moon orbits the Earth. Gravity keeps the moon in orbit around the Earth. The moon orbits the Earth every 28 days, which is about as long as a month. So there's a lot of moving around for astronomers to study in space. Because planets and moons are moving around, sometimes they align or they line up so they're in line with the sun. When this happens, they cast shadows on each other because the light from the sun is blocked. These shadows can cause an eclipse. And the moon can cause an eclipse itself. There are different kinds of eclipses. Some happen during the day and some happen at night. Let's explore each kind. An eclipse that happens during the day is called a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when the moon's orbit takes it in between the Earth and the sun. So the moon is actually blocking our view of the sun. Eclipses can be partial or full. A partial eclipse happens when the moon is almost, but not quite, aligned with the Earth and the sun. So it only blocks part of the sun. Partial means part. To us, that looks like a bite has been taken out of the sun. There are two kinds of full solar eclipses. One is called an annular solar eclipse, and this is when the moon is further away from the Earth. The moon's orbit is also an ellipse, which is like an oval shape. So sometimes it's closer to the Earth and sometimes it's a little further away. When the moon is further away, but is still in line with the Earth and the sun, it can cause an annular eclipse. Then, when the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, it blocks most of the sun, but since the sun is so big, we can see the edges of the sun clearly around the moon and it looks like a ring of fire in the sky. A total solar eclipse is perhaps the most exciting kind of eclipse. During a total solar eclipse, the moon is closer to the Earth, and when it moves in line between the Earth and the sun, it completely blocks out the sun. If you are in the path of totality, which means you are in the part of the Earth that's just in line with the moon and the sun, it will look like the sun is gone from the sky and it will be completely dark outside. It will look like it's nighttime in the middle of the day. And when it's dark in the middle of the day for those few minutes, you may notice some changes. Some street lights may come on. Some animals may change their behavior because they think it's nighttime. And you may even see a few bright stars in the sky. But this will only last for a few minutes and the moon will slowly continue its orbit and the view of the sun will come back, as will the daylight. Solar eclipses only last for a few minutes. Not only astronomers like to watch an eclipse, everyone does. It's an amazing phenomenon to see in the sky. But anytime you watch a solar eclipse, you must protect your eyes. We know it can hurt your eyes to look directly at the sun. 
And in fact, it can be even more dangerous to look at a sun during the solar eclipse. People who want to watch eclipses can wear special sunglasses to block out the harmful light so they can see the eclipse. They aren't just any old sunglasses. They are special glasses made to watch an eclipse. So if you ever plan to watch an eclipse, make sure you have the right eye protection. An eclipse that happens at night is called a lunar eclipse. To understand how lunar eclipses work, we need to understand more about the moon. The sun is a star and it makes its own light, but the moon is made of rock. It's not a star, and so the moon does not make its own light. Then how does it glow at night? The moon actually acts like a mirror, reflecting the light of the sun. So when we see the moon glowing in the sky at night, we're actually seeing sunlight bouncing off the surface of the moon. As the moon orbits the Earth, different parts of the moon are lit up by the sun. This is why the moon has phases each month. For example, a full moon is when we see the full side of the moon lit by the sun. But we can see half moons or crescent moons when the side of the moon lit up by the sun isn't fully facing the earth. The moon stays lit up all the time, but we can't always see all of it since the moon is orbiting the Earth. There is even a phase called a new moon when we don't see the moon at all because the lit up side of the moon is facing away from the Earth. A lunar eclipse happens during a full moon. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth moves in line between the sun and the moon. The Earth's shadow covers the moon, but some of the sun's light can still reach the moon around the Earth. And when this happens, the moon is darkened and it appears to look red in the sky. Lunar eclipses are longer since the Earth is larger than the moon and it takes longer for the moon to move out of the Earth's shadow. So lunar eclipses can last over an hour. Partial lunar eclipses can happen as well when the moon isn't completely in the Earth's shadow, but they're harder to notice since they look a lot like the moon normally does in its different phases. Eclipses are amazing natural events that occur every so often. When astronomers know an eclipse is going to happen, they report their findings so people know and can prepare to watch the eclipse. Total eclipses are not that common and happen every so many years, but not everyone in the world can see them at the same time, making them even more rare depending on where you live. You have to be in the right spot on the planet to be in line with the moon and the sun, so sometimes other parts of the world can have an eclipse and you might not. So when there is one that you can see in your area, it's a really great thing to enjoy. Remember, you can only see a total solar eclipse if you are in the path of totality. The path of totality is the path that the shadow of the moon creates over a certain part of the earth. So only certain parts of the earth will be in the path of totality during a total solar eclipse. When the moon comes between the earth and the sun, it casts a shadow, and the shadow actually has two parts. There's the umbra, which is the darkest part of the shadow, where the moon's completely blocking the sun, and the penumbra, which is still shadow with some light getting in. To be in the path of totality, you need to be in the umbra part of the moon's shadow. So on this map, the people who are living in the area of the dark dot going across and making that thick red line are in the path of totality. They are in the umbra portion of the moon's shadow and see a total solar eclipse.
Then, if you look at the larger gray circles, those are people that are in the penumbra part of the moon's shadow. And for those people, they will see a partial solar eclipse. The 2024 solar eclipse is going to be an amazing event. It can be seen through parts of Mexico, the United States, and Canada. This dark line shows the path of totality for the solar eclipse coming up in 2024. Some cities that will appear along this path are Dallas, Texas, Little Rock, Arkansas, Indianapolis, Indiana, Cleveland, Ohio, and Buffalo, New York. But those are just major cities within the path of totality. The entire United States will get to see some part of the eclipse, but for much of the United States outside of this dark line, it will only be a partial solar eclipse. Other parts of the world will not see this eclipse at all. Eclipses are amazing, whether you're in the path of totality or not. But I am so super excited because I actually live in the path of totality for this next big eclipse that I'm getting ready to see. I've got my special eclipse glasses ready to view the eclipse safely. And I feel very lucky to be in the path of a total solar eclipse. So I'm going to make sure I don't miss it. I'm so glad we learned about eclipses today so I understand more about what I'm going to see. Be sure to find out when the next eclipse is in your area so you don't miss it. I'll see you on the next field trip for more fun adventures. Keep watching the skies. Bye!